Welcome to the Select Board Board of Health meeting on Wednesday, April 4th, 2018 at 5 p.m. here in the Deerfield Municipal Offices. I appreciate everyone accommodating my schedule so I could see my granddaughter play the violin. <laughs> well, um, if I'd known that's what it was, I wouldn't have been as upset. <laughs> <laughs> that's my instrument. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, this meeting is being recorded and we'll start off with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we have minutes from the previous meeting um, of March 8th, 2018. I'll take a motion. I'll make a motion to accept the minutes of March 8th, 2018. Second. Is there any further discussion? None. Nope. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Um, select board comments. Um, I went to, I had a Shelburne Control Oversight meeting um, and yesterday, and we have um, reviewed the, Reviewed the consulting services study of participating in the E911 joint Greenfield, Mass State Police, Shelburne Falls, and Montague um, joint dispatch. And we have decided as an oversight board, which represents all the disciplines, um, I'm the municipal rep, there's EMS, police, fire, and um, we have agreed that we're just going to let the study go one way or the other. We're not opposed to it. We're not um, concerned about it that much. It's just that we feel very strongly that we need to maintain our free service. The state police provides a free service to 24 towns. We cannot afford um, to take on any costs and all complaints and Problems are resolved through the oversight board, and everyone seems to be satisfied. We will, um, the other thing we discussed was we will support the 800, switching over to the 800 radio system and not support um, a building out a par new parallel communication system here in, in the county. It's 10 to $12 million to build a new parallel system because ours is falling apart. It's, it's old, um, so we feel that um, it makes sense, sustainability-wise, to join on to this uh, state 800 system, which will cost us nothing. Uh, the expense is um, we will need to have 800 unit radios, which are about $3,000 a piece. So um, we agreed that we will continue to advocate for um, the state to purchase um, the units for uh, the 81 agencies that Children Control dispatches for in the county. And we, when the, the lieutenant governor came last mm -hmm. week, that was our position. Yep. She took notes on it. She agreed. John worked with her on that. Yeah, she agreed that that was um, the way to go as well. It makes sense. So, um, therefore, hopefully, it will reduce our radio assessments and save us money in the long run mm -hmm. and give us good coverage. Get good coverage for yes. people who are so out there. Yes, so that's really important. Then last night, um, I went to chemical safety training for municipalities and at the REPC meeting, and it was wonderful. Kevin had a short presentation about, um, you know, what South Deerfield Fire was doing here, and it was made me very proud that our... Um, fire department is doing an outstanding job, but mm -hmm. it would made me so much happier just to see Kevin being the real Kevin. He was obviously it was the end of the day, so he was tired, but um, he did a wonderful job. Great. There's grant opportunity for twenty five thousand, so we could um, sponsor small communities here, and the state would come in and do assessments uh, on all our facilities, including the schools, which was mm. I thought was kind of exciting because. Leftover chemicals from old labs, 
stuff in the closets, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And then there's another grant for 15000 up to 15000 to take all our chemicals out of town. So I'm going to follow up on that. And um, it's part of the climate change, weather-related industrial accidents, re toxic users mm. reduced When they get act. flooding and stuff. And yes. So we'll take care of all our stuff. And... Um, it was great. So I want to thank Kevin for participating. It made me very happy, like I said, to see him. But also, I think we could get up to $40,000 in grants to take care of all our issues, mm. both all in the schools here at Frontier, the elementary school, and all our town buildings. So that was a really good thing. This was the, okay. oh man, there's all kinds of stuff. It costs $40,000 just to get rid of the chemicals we have? Uh, well, they do an on-site assessment. There's um, on-site assessments. They do. Um, then they haul them all away for free. This is, I mean, it's pretty, pretty exciting. And they set up an uh, emergency plan for any chemicals that, like we might have at the sewer treatment plant, they send up a Chlorine. plan for you on what you're supposed to do. This is just an example. They fill it all out for you. They sit down and you, they practice with you, whatever. And um, they work with the police department and the fire departments for response. And, it's actually it's a really, grant. it's a really good program. So I, I was impressed because it's TURA, Toxic Use Reduction Act, and TURI, Grants and Research, is the one that has a program that would give us the money. And so Haven't either way. Haven't we participated way, in um, regional applications to TURI before? I, have yeah, you? I think yeah. so. Well, For I was, various things, training, and they do a lot of different things. With I, these the, bands, so. the people were very... Very nice, and it seems they wanted they wanted to work out here. So guess what? We'll make a phone call and make sure that we get work out here. So that was kind of exciting. The governor's lieutenant governor followed up with the lieutenant governor. We sent a letter on the vaccine Good. request, and John's following up on the radios. And so I think we're doing okay. You know, I, I uh, can't remember. Well, I can't remember if we met since uh, Skip uh, Olmstead and you and I went to the. Paul Marks um, oh, rural yes, schools. Yes. I know it seems oh. like forever ago, but it was probably a week yeah. and a half ago. Um, the 24th, 24th, Saturday. And I can't I remember if we met since then, but that was a pretty good, um, a pretty good meeting. Uh, you know, Stan Rosenberg was there, uh, Paul Mark was there. Um, a lot of people from the Heart Foundation that are working on education and trying to look at Chapter 70 funding, which I know Skip Skip was looking into as well. And you know, if we're exposed or not, if they redo. <laughs> If they redo Deerfield um, or redo the Chapter 70 formula, so there was a great, great conversation, and I think you know we need to kind of, as you were talking, get a group together to try and figure out. Um, actually, you know. I um, was hoping now that Skip and Jeff are here, um, what was devastating was to you know when you talk about the formula review, the foundation formula review, you're assuming that. We're going to get more money. Everybody's advocating for more money. Apparently, we are seven, one of the 17 percent of the towns that are be, being paid too much. Believe and therefore, it or not. <laughs> drastic reduction in what we get if we don't act. So my thought was immediately: we need to get together, analyze the formula, find out the information in the formula, because we're getting mixed is. up with communities like Amherst, Leverett, Weston, Wellesley, I mean, really much Very better wealthy. off communities. So we need to f analyze the, the information going into the formula to make sure it's correct. And we need to analyze how that the formula is working right now, the foundation formula. I already talked to Steve Kulik, and he's willing to work with us. Um, we have a deadline basically of November because we need to file a bill by January 1st when he leaves office and the new s season, you know, the new legislative session starts. So we have to come up, we have to reach out. We, we need to sort out things here in town, what we need to know. We reach out to the other Union 38 communities and then we reach out to that group mm -hmm. in Pioneer uh -huh. and that group over in Montague Gill and, and then hook and, up with Choro and, and, and other and, rural areas. Uh, Mohawk, and then reach out to the Cape and see what we can come up with that will accommodate all of us and will not reduce 
our Chapter 70 money. I mean, honestly, I, it, the school costs are 70% of our budget. Mm -hmm. And to receive less Chapter 70 money, it would be absolutely devastating. So we have to get on this. And so, Jeff, I was hoping you, I know John Paresky had volunteered. Trevor and I, we can I sit down. Yet. I haven't volunteered yet. I will, I will <laughs> look at it. Mull it over for us, Jeff. Well, at least <laughs> start with the, pl the analysis part so we can get the analysis part, all the reach out and all that, Trevor and I can do through the Selectmen's Association and all that kind of stuff. But it's really important that we analyze that formula and the input that's going into that formula and see if we can identify any misinformation on the state level. Because I just cannot imagine, you if know, a, a third or a half of a reduction of our, of our Chapter 70 money, which is what they kind of said in the meeting. And it was like, what? You can't be serious. I mean, that's, I mean, I don't, we have a problem balancing our budget already. I just can't imagine having to deal with that for how many long? It takes 10 years, 12 years before everyone starts screaming for the formula to be re reviewed. So if we don't act and have input into that formula, we could have another decade of issues, more issues. So anyway, it's pretty serious. So thank you, Trevor. I had forgotten and, about that. And then we also, a, you know. We hadn't discussed it as right, a board. Right, um, The other, you know, we had the Selectman Associations meeting the other night, which was, I found interesting. They were talking about economic development and uh, working with our farmers. Um, there was a gentleman from the Hilltowns. I think he's at Hilltown Economic Development. And he's Hilltown CDC. Just CDC, yeah. CDC, yeah. yeah. Community development. So, you know, they were kind of rolling in agriculture into some of that. Um, development, which I thought was a little interesting. And then we also had a discussion on compensation plans and um, help me with her name. Uh, Wendy, you? Mary Accardi. Mary Accardi. From the Collins Center at UMass Boston. Center. Right. Who's worked with us. Yes. No. Yep. And she, she had some interesting things to say. Yes. And Do you remember what she said? I wrote it down. <laughs> I would love it. <laughs> no, I can. Um, well, two yeah. things that stood out for me is, um, and I shared this with Skip, that she had said this. You would ask questions. Trevor, specifically about issues we had here about what to do with the comp plan. Yeah. And um, one is she just kind of threw, this is a generalization, but she said, you know, looking at a 12-year compensation plan that a rule of thumb is to look at a 30% increase over a 12-year period. Correct. From the and just first step to the last. Right. And also she had said, um, she had talked about performance evaluations, and she was, this is not a rule of thumb, this is her her experience mm -hmm. speaking. I mean, this is, this is her rule of thumb, but it, right. you know, different people have different, was that um, she had mixed feelings about doing performance evaluations for non-exempt employees, that really their jobs are their jobs, you know, right. that they're, you know, but I have mixed feelings about her answer to that. So mm -hmm. at any rate, um, that's what stood out for me from what she said. Well, also, when, part of that, when they talked about you know, promotions, raise stuff like that. She says, just because you come and do your job doesn't mean you get a raise Correct. every single year. Right. Yep. And, and the other part about that was, if, you're, if you've are you worked at a certain position and you get to your 20 years, then, you know, if there are other raises, you just don't get them, you know. You've maxed right. out at you've your, ex out. your right. experience level and that's what that job that's, pays. Right. And, and while we are looking right. at cost of living right. and stuff over that time frame, but it doesn't mean that you just automatically kind of continue yeah, you know, the right. step is there That's for all, a reason. That's why I think we have long, they longevity. Chose, you chose, and the, and the personnel suggested having longevity mm -hmm. right. pay, which just just for being here and doing their job. <laughs> their knowledge. Right. Yeah. So that's what I had to add. But. Kip, did you have anything else? No. I'm, no. Okay. Um, I didn't have any Board of Health comments other than people are already picking up ticks. And um, if the tick testing... Um, passes at town meeting, and we have some leftover money in the Board of Health budget, um, UMass will allow us to have, you know, do the $15 payment to the uh, them, and the pers people can pay $15 instead of $200. Right. So, and get a full But we bacteria. have to have it passed. Mm -hmm. they, they want a commitment by town meeting that we are in fact actually going to participate in the program July 1st. And that, and the reason for that is that of course the ticks are the most active in the spring. So mm -hmm. we'll miss that hump. And then, um, 
you know, in the, and then again in the fall is the huge activity level. Right. So we want to. For my benefit the, and my minutes and the public, can you explain how this works again, you know, clearly? Well, a few and, years ago. Because someone did come in yesterday and I didn't, we didn't have a. A few years answer. ago, we had gotten a grant mm -hmm. to, that we set up with UMass for free tick testing. Right. And we actually got an extension on it because it was so successful, the state gave us some additional money for it. But the problem is it ended. Mm -hmm. And so we had, inf we had information actually for almost three years. It was two and a half seasons. And um, was that so we had- free? We had people- Free, it was free okay. because okay. everything was covered by um, the grant. Okay. So then we went to self-pay, which you can pay $50 to get tested for Lyme disease, or you can pay 200 and get all 19 bacterial. other bacterial. And the concern, and what I reached out to UMass is, is that in that two and a half year period where we were getting data, we went from 2% of our ticks to 5% of our ticks carrying that, all those extra bacterial um, infections. So number one, we wanted data to, to keep an idea on that trend but also to alert people that just because you are tested negative for Lyme doesn't mean that you didn't have one of the other bacterial infections which actually can be passed in 15 minutes and are really much more serious, potentially more wow. serious than Lyme disease, which people are not aware of. And so going back and forth with UMass, it's now set up in, um, I put in for 125 tests in the Board of Health budget for $1,875 that the town pays $15 to UMass for every tick tested and an individual sends it in and pays the $15. So it'll be $30 total, but only $15 to the person mm -hmm. um, instead of the $200. So it's a huge it's a savings. Deal. People do not have to take just automatically have a tick bite, get on antibiotics. You can really see if you have an infection because the turnaround rate is like in less than 48 hours. And the, so the idea is to, and then you save your um, primary care visit copay because right. if the tick isn't infected, why would you go? Just clean it out and it's fine. But if you do have something, especially the secondary bacterial infections, you have proof to take to your primary care that even though you tested not positive for Lyme, you still have a problem because right. you have that bac secondary bacterial infection. Well, you still could have a problem. You could have Correct. a problem. You know, so I don't well, that's why you have the test to prove that you, if, if, you it have, has bacteria if you have that bacterial infection or not. So I mean, it's up to them if they want to go to the doctor or not. Yeah. Right. I mean, so you I, can I, still I, So the benefit to the town is? We have data and we're saving our... Um, Residents. You know, te residents. We're in, we're in, hopefully mm -hmm. encouraging our residents to mm -hmm. put te te test the tick to find out if they have the secondary bacterial infection and not take antibiotics how much needlessly. Is, how much would be the test? So, so if a homeowner gets bit by a tick, they want to. They're not involved in this program. They want to know how much it is to go. You know, to, for a test on this battery of tests, how much would it be for them to just go and get get them to do it? $200. $200. And if we do this, it's $15, $15. and $15. Right. So it's a pretty good deal for people. I think it's if, a good deal. If they're interested. And I well, think it's up to the town to see what they want yeah, to do. Yeah, I mean, it's up to people if they want to do it. So but it's $200 or $30? It's $200 if we're not involved in this. If we don't have this and deal with the okay. UMass. The idea of. They're interested of, in the data. They're interested also. Yes, in the data. They're, they're interested in the data. That's why they okay. they're want to work with us. And we're not the only town. Charlemont, Shelburne, other towns are doing the same thing. And that's why it's, they're was willing it, to do it. And this was set up through FERCOG, wasn't right. it? Right. Yeah, this was the. Program. What we were trying to do was come up with a way to continue the collecting data and the trends because, like in Charlemont, the numbers are much, the, in, the that secondary bacterial mm -hmm. infection is actually much faster than here in Deerfield. Hmm. Although we don't really have last year's information, yeah. so I don't know. I mean, yeah. the idea is to, f is to, to have information on what's happening with okay. the bugs, you know, but n also not to have people take needless back, uh, you know, antibiotics. antibiotics. Which is getting tougher well, and tougher. You can go to the doctor and get a blood test to find out if you need to take the antibiotics. They're not just going to give them to you. Well, yeah. I mean, you can take a blood test and pay for copay, and 
do all that kind It'll of be stuff. Less than but no, the problem is nobody, um, nobody gives that information to us. We don't have any information. So it's 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 to the benefit of the town to have the information and data. I still don't get it. That's right. Well, what does the data do for us? It tells us what's happening with our bugs, <laughs> and what we I need care to more do what is happens to the people. I, well, that's right. well, the I mean, people that's, are getting bit. It's people that are getting bit. <clears throat> And what are we going to do? It's the same do? thing like the mosquitoes. So they're all, you know, there's a potential that they're all deadly, so you've got to remove them. If you get bit by a tick and you notice a red mark, you can go to the doctor and get a blood test. And well, Kip, you know, we'll so just we'll let town decide. meeting decide. I, I, we'll let the you know, town meeting whatever. decide that one. No, that's good. Okay. I think it's a really good deal, and I hope people support it. That's okay. okay. And we can get the data of what's happening. Um, so does that answer your question, Wendy? Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Got it. Um, town administrator's report. Okay, well, <clears throat> I'll use uh, this time to talk about um, new business that came up today. Um, one is, um, and I handed out the memo from Julie Cowan at Mass Development. They're partners in the financing for the New England Natural Bakers project. And it's a letter saying that, and they just called me. I think Kip was in the office when they called um, yeah. this afternoon to say, they're very sorry. It's their end of things. They're not ready to cl close yet to do the. Um, why why are, aren't they? I mean, do you understand what they're trying to do with natural bakers? Is it yes? They're they're putting in money, and they've got to go through. It says in the memo. Um, oh, okay. Final signatures, documentation for author authorization. Oh. They're very. She said, "Would you like me to write an email?" I said, "Yes, I would." <laughs> so here it is. Um, so the delay in closing is ours. Ours being the mass development, which is a state agency, or it's a quasi state agency. I'm not really sure, and not theirs. She spoke with their attorney, and they're very dis um, – all right. I, I also had an email from the attorney about how disappointed they were. You know, they were ready to go a few weeks ago, and um, they had set up. They were all down there to sign, and then this came up. So it's a delay in the state's end because they're part of the package of – And Lisa together. did review uh, the agreement between the town the, oh, uh, the, for the first right of refusal if they yes, don't go forward. Yes, she wrote it. She wrote it. Yeah. Okay. So what I have attached to that, and I have um, what to sign because it is an, another um, amendment to the purchase and sale agreement that's stapled to that. And, and when do they anticipate closing? Um, Within two the weeks. 19th of the 19th. The 19th. That, is, that is a conservative estimate, they say. So they're hoping much sooner Before than that. Before that, yeah. yeah. Oh, well. So this extends it to the 19th, yes. Been. So if you would like to. Waiting quite a bit, so. If you would like to sign it, you may. Um, do you make a motion? I make a motion to extend the purchase and sale or sign the purchase and sale extension for New England Natural Bakers. In I'll second the motion. Is there any further discussion? None. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Hopefully the state can get them on the stick. Okay. okay. Um, Wendy, can I just ask you, did you, um, have you done this oh. um, municipal vulnerability preparedness report? Yes, yet? I did. Okay, it's so it got, two it hours got, for, doing it. <clears throat> got he forwarded. Has it. He has it. it. Okay. And I yes. said that all Our, my <clears throat> edits incorporated yours as well. So. Oh, okay. He knows, um, I, which I did. So mm -hmm. he... Um, this is my next comment. So he's okay. going to, or he's going to submit it for us. He's going to, he's going to update. He's going to clean it up and get it back to us. And I'm okay. I believe that. Whose responsibility do a, is it to? I submit think we. It? Well, we have to do a report in addition. We have grant reporting requirements with this as well. So okay. Yeah. I'll, are, I'll, are we going to get it in? Do you think within a month? Absolutely. Okay, because there's. Um, it bumps us to the head of the I know. line yeah. for EEA grants, and there's a new grant program coming out, and I want to make sure we participate. I'm hoping that within, well, um, yeah, we're on it. He's, okay. And you know, I'm waiting for him to get back to me, and then I will look to see what we do to do our I'm sorry, final work. I'm sorry editing. Yeah, well. <laughs> Thank you. Um, when you did a lot. I know. So the next thing I have, and this is um, came in after I posted the agenda, um, I, it, it's um, for our, our three go through FERCOG for a number of items, and this is for our fuel oil, number two fuel oil, gasoline and diesel, 
Kevin has, you know, looked at this, Mike has looked at this, and then Kevin, and it needs your signature. And I have a page here. So, um, you want to read through it? So, are we going to sort, the only other question I had, so Kevin got sorted out on the, remember that really cold weather? Mm. They weren't adding enough kerosene right. to the diesel fuels? So it, was it was gelling up. Gelling I up. can't speak to that, but um, he pinged me, which is why I got up before to make sure that we had this. So okay. I'm assuming that he's on top of that. Kevin, he, if I you're not, ping me again. <laughs> <laughs> I know okay. he did talk so. to them a All lot right. about that. All right. And I'll take a motion to sign this, I guess. If you guys are uh, upset. Can I just finish here real quick? Oh, Unless yeah. Kip no, wants no, to go. That's fine. I just was concerned about the gel. I just actually got an email from them today. We, we, we haven't heard from you yet. And, you know, we're, mm. just, we're catching up. <laughs> so this is a contract for that fuel oil? Yeah, for the diesel. For, for well, are we, are we just doing diesel? No, no. It's no, gasoline, it's diesel. Gasoline, diesel. Kerosene, I guess. Okay. Well, the kerosene is the additive. I think, is that what he's... Yeah, here's the winter, winter blend thing. Oil. See on the second yep. page down yep. below, yep. the winter blend. <clears throat> well, the, I guess my thing was that we wanted to make sure the winter oh, okay. blend was defined. All right. Oh, is that Kevin? No. Yeah, because it says winter blend will be a mix of kerosene at a certain percent to be determined. But I know that was an issue that he had last winter when it got super cold. So I assume other people had that same issue. Um, yes, they did. So, and they must have heard about it. Well, do you see what he wrote under that? Yep. Um, comments. <coughs> winter plan will lose. Will not accept Ed River Oil Company. So I think that might have been what the problem was. Oh, uh, I see what you mean. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'll find out if I'm right or wrong. Okay. <laughs> but I I'll make a motion it. to sign the ability to, is, is this a contract or an ability to go out for bid? I, um, I think this goes out to bid because right. yeah. we haven't accepted a bidder yet. Correct. Right. To participate in Right. That. This is to participate. They've already we've So given make a them motion numbers. to participate in the yeah. Franklin County yeah, the Council right of Governments. I'll second the motion. Fuel assistance. Is there any Fuel further assistance. discussion? So None. Those three. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Above that. Those three. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Um, oh yeah. There's a. There's a note right here about the winter yeah. blend. Yeah. Yeah. That that it was very bad. Yeah. Okay. Good. I think we have to fill up the right. side too. No, I'll fill so everything. Did we out. Vote you just on sign that? it. I'll fill oh, out I'll everything else. <clears throat> have we voted that yet? Yes. Okay. I did say aye. I hope. Uh, I think you did. <laughs> I did now. <laughs> well, make it unanimous. I, we'll reaffirm it, it was unanimous. Yes. I know Kip and I did. Yes. Okay. So the uh, Okay. You can know when you would like me to. Is that it? No. Yeah, no um, the only other thing, we have a public hearing on a liquor license um, at 630, mm -hmm. um, which was set way before you changed your meeting time. Oh, yep. so, Sorry. It's fun. Um, but I just want to talk about that a little bit. Um, you've both been by earlier today, so I filled you in. And you have a memo from council. As you know, we are we have more requests than um, we've got licenses available for um, off-premise. She's asking for off-premise. Let me just see. Off-premise wine and malt. And that's why we have the Warren article, which we'll also discuss later. Um, it's complicated, but the, the bottom line is, and this is in the memo, tonight you'll, we'll, you'll hold the hearing. Um, a question there for you to ask will be consistent going forward with the, we will go forward with the other one as well. And at a later date, you will make a decision on um, what, who you will grant the license to. Um, so we'll just you close the hearing and, and say you'll take it under advisement. Um, because we, in fact, could be looking at both and deciding uh, after that. And I'll be and talking to council tomorrow, get more guidance on that. And but other people in that time frame may come forward. That's true. Um, so we cannot talk about the merits. We cannot talk about, um, what is it, what is in here? 
speculative uh, concerns right. um, cannot be any kind of involved in any basis for approval or denial. So we should really be very strict and consistent with the questions my, my and the discussion. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be here, but um, my question would be, you know, I wrote the question tips, down. Oh, okay. tips yeah, training. Okay. Yep. Yep. I, I I really believe in tips training. Yep. Is she going to have to be? Is she and whoever else is working there going to have to be tips? Okay. Training? This is off premise, it's but off-premise. but um, it's off. But you, there's also training for uh, sellers. I, mm-hmm. I was sellers. just going to say, yeah. yeah. She, I she don't know be. what it's called. It used to be tips training, but anyway. Well, whatever it's called now. Right. I I, I mean I really think I everyone that should go through yeah. that. Um. I get, that's usually my biggest thing is to make sure the hours of operation are consistent with whatever neighborhood it's in and the, um, their, whether the persons are tri- tip trained, right. kind of whatever they call it now. And um, I don't know. I, I, we can't you'll ask dis- any other you'll questions. Di- yeah, and yeah. you'll discuss. Um, you can look at the application that's in front of you. Yeah. And we can um, talk. In depth so we can't ask a question, how is that consistent with a bakery? I mean, is that getting too in-depth? You can mm-hmm. ask, well, I would ask her to describe the business, and yeah. I, I think it would be fine. Um, I wouldn't, I would just simply ask. Um, how they use yeah. it. How they how does that using. fit in with your, okay. with with your product line? Or yeah. I'm sure you guys can yeah, we'll answer the Yeah. See what we can figure out. Yeah. Um, okay. Is there anything else? Uh, more later. <laughs> okay. Um, then let's go down to um, budget. Or do you want to? Just, I know um, Skip has to leave, so he, um, could we talk about the budget? Because he wanted to talk about um, um, the revenues and expenses and stuff. You Skip, can you come up to the? Sure. You also um, had a question and, on a and related building to that, committee. I've distributed a memo from. Oh, in the building committee. Me and Brenda about. Um, oh, and the stabilization. stabilization. Did, did Skip oh, see this? Yes, he has. Okay. And we, we talked as well. The three okay. of us. Are you comfortable that? I haven't read it yet. Well, you, stabilization. Well, the, the finance committee will take it up on. Oh, so you haven't on, actually. On t- Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. We we got a little bit bogged down. Yes. Skip, last can you night. just um, introduce yourself because I oh, sure um, got in trouble for not making people say who they are. Skip Olmstead, chairman of the finance committee, Deerfield Finance Committee. Okay. Uh, Thank you. We looked at uh, our situation, revenue and expenses last night, and we had a difficulty in ascertaining what we were going to need for free cash to cover the the budget that's being proposed. Uh, So we didn't take up the article that uh, you're talking about, which is the uh, Capital stabilization, I believe. So that will be taken up and, and dealt with on Tuesday. Essentially, uh, we're going to need an estimated uh, $1.2 million in free cash to cover the proposed uh, and, and expenditures that the Board of Selectmen uh, have put forward on the town warrant. Um, does that include your 500000 reserve? It. Pardon? Or capitalization, you mean? No, the five hundred thousand um, dollar reserve that you we always sort of set aside. No, it does not. Okay, so it's really one point seven. Well, yeah. Because uh, we we always set aside. <coughs> we try to. We, yes. We, we, we did not. I don't believe we actually did that. There, you've oh, got we a proposal. Do that every you've year. got a proposal coming up tonight too that that will enter into that. So. Okay. Uh, but we didn't, I don't believe we carried over half a million dollars last year. But. We did. Was it, was it that much? I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah. In, any, in any event, we could. We, that's we what, we, that's what we, our goal is every year, to set that I know it's our, it has traditionally been our We've goal. We've only been two or three years, like right after 2008 economy crash, that we went down to 300 and something. And that was quite, quite a, a change for us, because mm-hmm. we just couldn't. Co- I mean, we had to use more free cash, because um, we didn't have receipts. So, yeah. um, I just want to make sure that p- 
people know that we have to set we usually set aside that five hundred thousand. Yes, no, we do. I mean, okay. we, we we attempt to in any event. I mean, it's not a hard and fast rule, but right. it's kind of what we've always done to be safe. Okay. So that was that was one. The other one that I wanted to talk about um, was last was it last Friday? I guess when the when the warrant you were taking up the, the warrant. We had to close I, it by the thirtieth. Yeah. Yep. I dropped off a request to look at a town building committee, and I would like you to take before I'd like you to take another look at that. And okay. uh, we've got four weeks, less two days before town meeting, yes, so sir. there is some time that we have available that that you uh, can go through that and make adjustments that you might want to make uh, and put that before the, the voters at the annual town meeting. My concern is that we have a number of things coming up. In particular, we've got a sewage treatment plant that uh, is going to need some work, and it would seem that that's this year, yeah. Do that is something that that a town building committee ought to take responsibility for. Uh, so then just in to twist your arms to do this again. Well, we're going to, we actually have to um, finalize the warrant next week because we have to post mm -hmm. it very soon. So we don't have that much time, really. We have the next meeting to if talk about that warrant article. You, you can talk about, I don't, the, uh, if the warrant article's on, if it's on the warrant and uh, you can make changes to the, uh, or recommend changes to the article when it comes up for a vote. So you have three and a half weeks to do okay, that. Okay, so they have to, you know, agree to put it on the warrant, yes. essentially. So anyways, I, I just wanted to uh, make that recommendation and um, ask you to take a look at it. And whether you take a look at it tonight or... Uh, I, I, I think, I mean, I'm, I think it's a good idea. I don't, your thoughts, Kip? I, I think, I mean, it makes sense to have a committee that of dedicated people looking at the large yeah. projects that we have. I mean, I assume we'd all still have input to the different various boards, but this would be a kind of a steering committee, right? It's the traditional for a lot of, a lot of communities mm -hmm. have building committees. Sometimes yeah. they set them up for a specific purpose, like a school building. Sure. You've done that. You've done yes, that. Yes, we've here. done yeah. that. And, and, and a fact. library building committee are the two that kind of yeah. often have a life of their own. Right. But... Um, you know, I've seen what he presented. Can, can I can we, give share it with you, and we. I'd like to. He, you and I will can talk some more about that. Can we send this off to Lisa just for review, so we can? Well, what um, is it? In format. It's, it's the his proposal oh, for the bylaw. You have it after all. Okay. Yeah. Um, to, so that I we can. You, I must. So we can make no, sure it's in the right form, format. Format. Um, 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 yeah, I. Th it, I think that's just presented as a model. I don't. You know. It's, I don't think it's an issue as a Warren article. I don't think that's a problem. It's to see if the town will. Well, mend we want to make sure that. Yeah, she, not I, if I put it on the warrant, she's reviewing oh, everything. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So, so what I what I really like is for you to you know talk about. It. I'd like us to talk some more because I'd like to take a look at it. Okay. And um, just a little bit before we put it on because I don't. I hope we can come to consensus and not amend it at town meeting at all. So. No, but it, you know, if it if it required that, in other words, if it was on there and, and it was submitted to Lisa and said you need to do this, that, and something else, then you'd have it. Uh, or if there was something about it you wanted to change, you can certainly change it. Well, I, I mean, is it in the right? F I don't. I mean, know. we're meeting. I know, and I, I know the, this is. Yeah. A, you did an amazing job. It's not a criticism. I, I, I just. Yeah. Well, you can, you can thank other towns I think because it, I did pick and yeah. choose from other towns. Like, yeah, I I wouldn't worry. I'm not worried about the language for the Warren article. I'm, and I'm not worried about. But I I am interested in us reaching consensus on on what you want as a committee, and if you want a committee. But if you do, how you'd like it. Well, so we can talk I, about that. I right? think one of the problems is. Or one of the problems going forward on any of these projects, there's there's so many people that have opinions, and we have to Thanks. streamline the process. And if we have a building committee, you're you're having somebody recommend and oversee what is happening, um, and you have, so you've, you are in fact streamlining the, 
thing get, and get things done. Right. And you had the highway garage committee too, of course. Yeah. But yep. instead of doing individual well. building committees, we we do a permanent. That's that's the intent. We've got enough things coming up over the next few years that. And and my other recommendation on this was that. If this article goes forward, it goes it goes in and takes the place of, or it eliminates, the current school building committee that, uh, that everybody's over the last uh, couple of years has ignored, anyways. Uh, so maybe what maybe would be the, the, what, it, what do you see the scope of that as far as like schools go? I mean, schools are you would have frontier, construction right? or any construction. Yes. Or? Uh, it would not obviously it wouldn't affect frontier because frontier is a separate political district but any the, the town's the town's school roof project you uh, have a school committee person the school committee would appoint one person and that's essentially the the, the, the school building committee is, is, is comprised I? that way one person from this committee one from another committee and a couple of additional people in total uh, it worked fairly well, or I think it worked reasonably well when we built the school 25 years ago. Uh, that was that was the committee uh, that was responsible for constructing the the elementary school. And I just so have to disagree big time there, because <laughs> any committee that would build a new building like that with no insulation in it would do I, a very good I job. I agree, but I can tell you, as as at that point in time, the chairman of that committee, one of the things that I specifically told. Uh, the architect was that this is what we're spending to heat the two buildings in town now. Mm -hmm. I, my anticipation is that this building will be well insulated and uh, will not cost us that much to heat. And apparently those words were not uh, uh, given a great deal of. No, they weren't. On the other hand, one of the things that we did, one of the things that you know as a contractor uh, is to have windows that are so-called energy efficient. The argon windows, mm -hmm. uh, those, that building has 30 years old, 25 years old, windows that are argon filled. Rather unusual for a building of its age. So you know, when the committee was involved and the things that we could do, yeah. that did happen. But I agree. It's, if, it's not. I, if I stuck my two cents in, I would say yeah. the reason it probably happened because those windows were more expensive. You, you know what I'm saying? Things that, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm just saying that's how they work. If something becomes more expensive, and it, it, I wonder often why insulation was omitted from stuff like that. You know, I have just, no idea. I know. I have that no would have driven windows. up the cost. So that is not a yeah. valid argument. I mean, why if, wouldn't they yeah. put in, no, insulation it, 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 in? I agree with, I agree with that, both of you. That's what he's asking. Why yeah. they didn't. I mean, well, that's what I'm saying. Why? Why wouldn't they have put insulation in? Because that would have driven up the cost. Right, but the I insulation mean, that's cost. Your argument. The, no, the insulation cost is it was pretty minimal. But the reason it wasn't put in is because of their design. They have all of the, the pipes and the heat. Everything's up in the ceiling, you know. And, and, you, and it, you wouldn't it, insulate it around been, the pipes? It should have been insulated above that. There should have been a space between the ceiling that you see and the ceiling that held the insulation. Now, all the ductwork and everything, the pipes, could have been in the heated area, so but above that should have been insulated. Do we think this committee would catch that stuff? I mean, is it, is it, I mean, it seems like it's a valid point to at least well, a valiant effort to try. You notice one of the things that I did recommend, and this is a recommendation, is that uh, to the extent that it's you possible, can. can we find those people in the town of Deerfield, uh, is there an architect who would be willing to sit on the committee? Mm -hmm. Is there a building contractor who would be willing to sit on the committee? Engineer, Those are recommendations, attorney. and part of that recommendation uh, was based on the fact that we really do need people with experience in in, in constructing, building. you know, right. something other than than, a, than their own personal houses. Uh, right. To to really well, take a good stuff. hard look okay. at. And work with a, an architect, or an engineer, whatever it is that we're hiring. It's and, and it, I I do agree with that, but it also it needs to start from the beginning. Um, you know, the library, uh, on one hand, is probably a couple years away from reality, and yet the plans are pretty much set in stone. You can do no, this. You can do no, that. square no. footage is set in stone. The square nothing footage, else is. nothing else. No, is. the how it's assembled and stuff. No, like, no. Well, you no. can change all that. 
we'll everything see. can be changed. Well, whatever you know, if there if there are other things that we can do to this committee to uh, add to it. Um, the knowledge that's necessary. I agree. I, I think it, it would be very idea. helpful you because. Wendy, did you have a comment? You were I do, which is here. I completely support this, but we closed the warrant last week. Friday, you brought it to me. I've been recommending, and I, I, I've heard people are getting warm to the idea that we look at bylaws in the fall town meeting. We have quite a few we're looking at moving towards doing. Um, and. Um, I really would like time to work on this and work with you. I, he did, I think you did a good job. Mm -hmm. I, he pulled from other communities. Yeah. But I'd like to have some time to look at it. And um, you that's so, all. So you think, you think by the fall we would, we Absolutely. would have enough? Absolutely. I think by in a month I could. But, you know, right now, okay. no. Or all two we need to do whatever. is by the end of the month. No, it needs to be. I don't want to. I don't think it's a good political way to do things or democratic if we wanted to change this or that the other thing to start doing it on town meeting floor well i don't see any projects moving forward you know in less than in in less than five months or six we can't months. change the we can't put it you, in you can but i just like a chance to look at it that's i'm just asking yep. i you know that's all i'll say i didn't know i i didn't know if it, it's set you, in stone if we put it on, no, you, you put on the I mean, warrant Wendy, just Wendy as it is. point that we're not really moving ahead on anything. Well, I don't really want to make that point very strongly, but well, I want to I mean, say that I just months, like a so. place, you know, some time to vet it more right. because I don't want to do that on town meeting floor. It's, um, well, if you want to take it off town meeting floor, you, you can do that. I mean, you, that's okay. This is, this, is a, right. this is a warrant article that. I mean, I, I How about we just think about it to, for a week? Because yeah. I, I'm actually, I am in favor of it, but I understand Wendy's hesitation no, I, to do, to do res more research. Just to it's make a sure, last minute. Because you're setting up, even though it's been discussed. You're setting I up just more want stuff. some time. Yeah. Bruce yeah, Bruce. In this. Russia. I haven't even seen it. Oh, okay. So I don't even know what you're talking. About. Okay, but right. I'm just saying that if all the existing bylaws were put in with good intentions, they were well vetted and everything else, but they have become a mess. Mm -hmm. So, well, I, I wasn't here. Agree with Wendy, <laughs> just to it, wait a little it bit. It really needs to be looked at. I, I think it's a great idea. Yeah. I think I think it's good. You know, before you start slapping it in the code book and, and finding out there's more problems with it again, uh, you know, wait so the is not going to make the difference between the meantime. You can. Bruce, do you think you could? Try to get some Bruce, would you be willing to do? Are, do you think you'll be ready to, for like a September, October um, bylaw special special town yeah. meeting versus a November, one. Decemberish town meeting? I mean, I don't want to. The, the, the special town meetings, as they get later and later, they get pushed off. And yeah. so, right. do you think you would be ready to go in Septemberish? Oh, well, you know, there again. I mean, we're, we're we're trying to work across the whole book because there's so much. There's 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 a lot. There's I know. So I'm, I'm not asking you to do the whole take thing. Take that as a priority, you know, and bring that up front. I mean, and that's and you'll know where to put it in? Okay. This will yeah. be a lot easier for them because it's it's new Fresh. and it's Clean up to date. You'll know where to put um, it. Like so many other things. So. Chase through the whole book trying to find it. Do you want to make your copy? I got it. Oh, I don't know why I think I have it. Just, um, I think you it had it. Week, so. It's very sincere. We, we have a process yeah. set up to review Actually, these. Why don't you take that copy? Because I, um, I copied it twice. Because okay. um, I, I thought it was, I was going to double check it against something and I didn't. But I, um, I, I, I think it's, it's a good work, Skip, and I think it's needful. I just want to but, um, but underscore what Bruce said, and I'm very sorry. I, absolutely true. We have this bylaws review committee. That's Part of the, that is one of the reasons that they're in existence is to, to look through these things. We have very good people on that committee. Um, so, you know, it's not about me. <laughs> it's, it's really about can, if, utilizing if, if that If this thing too. can be, what I don't want to do is wait until next April. No, 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 no. No, no. I, w I, I, I think, is there consensus? Um, Trevor, do you have yeah. consensus? Yeah. Do, you, are you, do you have consensus that this is a good idea? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. And I, particularly I would, if you have a town meeting scheduled before, before we the start budget Department planning of uh, yeah. local services uh, 
certifies free cash, then I'm all for that. I, I think we Between truly are talking money, about a September. <laughs> I think we're truly talking about a September, October. September? Sp September to October um, special town meeting. Well, I mean, uh, the bylaw committee is, is moving as fast as they can, but every time they do one thing, there's a couple more that yeah, come up. Yeah, I'm thinking more, more October, um, because I'd really <coughs> like to bring the personnel, you know, have, okay. well, that can wait if we, you know, we do this. But, all right. Okay, so um, we're all set with that then? Uh, we're going to wait. Are you voting to endorse this concept and move it forward and send it to the bylaws review committee? Yes. Okay. I would make the motion <laughs> that, that we um, endorse this and forward this to the bylaw review committee for um, placement on our fall town meeting. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Yes. Aye. 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 Okay. So I can Sorry, go. I just wanted to make sure you had a chance. Thank you. Skip, thank you. Well, thank you. Um, actually, was there anything else you wanted to talk about the revenues and expenses? No, I just wanted to, I guess the, the uh, okay. finance committee was, uh, had problems to, to determining where we, where all of those numbers fit together last night. So I think okay. by the time next Tuesday rolls around, We'll, we'll be able to more precise information, slightly more precise than what you've got there. But that's close, Bob. When are you meeting? Tuesday. What time? Six. Six. Thank you. How, how do you envision this working? <coughs> yeah. It talks about the library as well, since they've already had a committee. Well, I think they, they would dissolve that committee. I think. Is their plan anyway? Is this dissolve when they've had? And then start a new one. They don't actually they have, have a that? formal build, a, okay. a yeah. formal right. library building committee. Okay. Yep. All right. I believe that was their plan to begin with, but this could take over that. Okay. Um, Wendy, is there anything else um, that you want? I mean, what do you want us to do, with, um, given the fact that I have to leave? And oh, well, I was going to walk <clears throat> through the warrant with the okay. motions and the fin fine fin. FinCom <coughs> recommendations or lack thereof. <laughs> okay. So that was the primary thing. And uh, the memo from Brenda and myself about, we'll get to that. Okay. Um, so any, uh, the changes are on, um, we went through this last week on mm -hmm. Article 2, the, the um, Finance Committee voted to, you know, in favor of the amounts for the, um, I, I changed Article 2 to make it clear that the, because um, I did, Dan did ask about this, for the moderator's pay, um, that he gets $50 per special town meeting. Oh. Okay. Um, and made that clear also, I forget who pointed this out, um, maybe it was him about uh, indicating the numbers of associate members so people know um, you know how many people are getting five thousand dollars or three oh, thousand dollars. How many people? So are it's the for chair. both the select board and the assessors. You see that it didn't have yep. those numbers in there before. Okay. And is that correct? I I looked at their website. Is that correct that we have four so the chair and four members of the? Um, yes. Okay. Yes. Of the and those those pays are correct. There are five members on the committee, and the chair gets 150, and you get 100 dollars. I guess so. I didn't think it was that much. Well, but it must um, be. Yeah, it I'm, must be. I'm pretty sure that okay. things are accurate. Yep. Um, Article three, they um, supported that, um, and then I we got a check today. That was oh, nice. Where is that lovely from letter? I have Woman it on Hill? my desk. That's I, great. From Woolman Hill. I, I read it. I meant to send it around, and it was basic. It was a very nice letter attached to a check they sent. Um, Wonderful. Uh, thanking the town for plowing the road and all kinds of nice things. I will, I will get that to yeah, you. I don't I'll know. It's, it. it's, it's not in your folders. Okay. No. no. Um, so that just late breaking news. Um, Article 4, the Finance Committee voted to support. It's a traditional division of the trust fund money. Mm -hmm. um, Article 5, they voted uh, to support. I'm still clarifying the issue on the public health and safety fund. Again, I, right. as I wrote you, just got DOR. a memo from the uh, DOR that um, if this is, if we're talking about money here from uh, any kind of host agreement, should we go forward with that? Um, I don't believe 
it goes into this. It will go into a revolving fund. It's going to go into the general, general fund. So I'm yeah. still drilling down on that one. Didn't I just read today in the uh, uh, cannabis control that the, the three percent sales tax and the money from host agreements have to go into the general fund? The, I, the tax does. The tax does. And that was host, that was always there. And then but this host agreement, this host agreement like is a new too. ruling. Yeah, I, yeah, I, got, I, I the had a... The host agreement before, like the money for the car, that goes into, you know... Yeah, and that it safety. is actually what I read in the DOR newsletter. Or that, that their had to go to... General fund. General fund. Mm -hmm. Right, That's what I so I we'll just... I'll clarify that yep. and we'll have that for That's next week. That's a new week. thing, Kip. I think they I think what's happening is that it wasn't clear where that money was going for yeah. I mean it was one thing to put in a public oh, safety yeah. revolving fund but it could be a mayoral could be anything. Yeah. yeah it could be just, anything and I think there just, was some question that could be abused yeah. just so, so you know out of 312 communities 178 have voted either moratoriums or uh, to eliminate marijuana sales as of so um, far. there's 59 that have prohibitions, that's it. Right, more, but there, there's more, 130 that have uh, moratoriums. Yes, yeah, that expire July 1st or December I, 31st. Right, and that's what I said, 178. Yeah. You yeah. have prohibitions or moratoriums. Yeah. Bruce. On that uh, host agreement and so forth, uh, the, the I, memo I saw was which we passed on that both mm -hmm. the uh, uh, host agreement and, uh, and any Ten. funds from host agreement and the Sales tax have to go in the general fund. Right. right. But if you go click on the link, it's evidently somebody is filing legislation right now uh, to correct that, and so that it would allow host fund agreement uh, gifts or whatever you want to call them, to to be appropriated towards the uh, what is defined in the host agreement. Hmm. Hmm. Because well, a, wait till tomorrow. Link, okay. There's a link that you sent me. Yes. You know, in that, if you click on that link, it explains it. So that was today. You said. Uh, well, yes. When, yes. when yes. you sent that a couple days ago, Wendy? Yes. Two yeah, days ago. I yeah. sent it right after I got it. And, but if you click on the link in there, there is evidently there. there Somebody's there, challenging. Correct that uh, flaw in the host agreement. Well, I think, like I said, I think they wanted to make sure that the host agreement money wasn't going towards. Something Slush not point. even related to whatever. Well, supposedly they're filing yeah. some sort of legislation to correct yeah. <laughs> To change well, it. <laughs> just somebody's? Yeah, it, wasn't, it wasn't the state filing legislation. It was somebody else, right? Uh, well, uh, so. Baker was behind it. Oh, okay. I, well, yeah. I assume it's to, to have the money go to directly to the kinds of needs, you know, just like you had. Yeah, they're impacted. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm trying trying to get that result. There are some things that are kind of up in the air uh, that towns are having to deal with now where they go to town meeting and there's no clarity about, so you go mm -hmm. forward. Um, the um, Finance Committee, um, correct me if I'm wrong, I took this off Skip's notes, <laughs> voted um, not to, to, voted against putting money in OPEB. Well, but I, we've I, got this in and this is your policy we voted, you voted to. The select so. board voted for this and I really like um, Kip's suggestion of a percentage of our health care costs because um, in a bad year, we can use that to pay our current um, benefits that we are paying out as part of our operating budget now. So I don't feel like this fund is going to build up and we're never going to be able to touch it. And can so be I used think for a current year. Yeah, we could use it for a current year if we were in hard times. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, to me, it's not really a waste. And at some point, we could decide oh. not to do it. What? I, I believe the finance committee voted a number of 10,000. Okay. So it's if not that you didn't. Correctly. That's just off the top okay. of my head. Right. I'd like so, to check. But you didn't vote a policy, right? No, you're, you have to. We, we are. Right. Because so they voted what, against the policy you done. Right. Because what we needed to do for our auditors is to come up with a policy right. so that it doesn't affect our bond rating. Right. And we'll I, think the, the, I think the, the percentage of our health care, our current health care mm -hmm. retirement benefits is mm -hmm. a good option because in bad times, we instead of paying that $76,000, which it is currently, um, we could go and get $76,000 out of that to cover it in a bad year. So and that makes sense. Mm -hmm. 
I think. I, yeah, I do too. I, 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 don't, I won't make this too long, but I, I watched a show a couple of weeks ago on a Boston news channel, and they were talking about OPEB. That's what got my attention. Oh. And they, they, the person who was speaking um, said that the state's really been pushing this, and they're getting hard and hard because they're foreseeing problems down the road. And that they're, you know, they know that the state through the insurance fund will probably have to bail out a lot of communities, and that's why they're pushing towns to do this. But the end of the thing is that when it comes time, people who save the money will not be eligible for any state bailout. So other communities, I don't just pick anyone, if they don't do this, they're going to be the first ones to get state aid. So, I, I mean, it's kind yeah, of but you get penalized for doing be the right in, thing. They'll be key in the harbor. Well, they yeah. can join yeah. in the line they'll because be you know what? The the, listen, the state I know, but is not that, even covering that was its the whole own thing obligation. Thing. I thought it was kind of interesting. I should have yeah. prefaced this. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. I would. It's wrong. Manage, if you're managing your finances, you can get nailed. Guess what? Yeah. You get nothing. Well, right. And if you don't, guess what? Well, I'll take the, well, I'll I, take I the first. Yeah. I'm still, still going to manage the I finance. still think ultimately it's better to be conservative and to manage our money and not throw ourselves down at the feet of the state. Okay. Okay. Um, just reminds me that um, at the select board meeting last week, uh, Representative Kulik talked about that as a major priority of the state, that they'd neglected it. They've been called out by the Herald, yep. the Globe, everybody, um, for they neglecting their OPEB liability, and they have some resources now to be able to be doing that. Yep. So, yep. Um, so, any rate, um, also I neglected to say at the beginning of going through this that um, – the way, and it says this at the top of the draft in mm -hmm. red, um, that the uh, point of this is it will go in the warrant as finance committee voted to recommend, finance committee voted not to recommend. Mm -hmm. Right. Under the, um, each yeah. one. So Article 7, which has to do with the compensation plan, I believe there was a no vote on that, not to recommend the compensation plan. Is that correct? Yeah, it ended up being a tight vote, so it would be not a recommendation. Okay. Um, on Article 8, well, that's the budget, and so it'll be item mm -hmm. by item, and I, I won't be putting in the specific. It'll show right on, mm -hmm. right on here for the omnibus budget. Um, you voted everything, I believe, the select board has. Mm -hmm. We've left nothing to further discussion, so... Unless you want to go through anything on the omnibus budget, uh, we can I move on to other articles. Yep. Okay. Because I guess I would just want to make sure that um, if anyone has any questions, we make sure we sort it out before next week's meeting. Absolutely. Thank we're, you. We're going to meet. When are we meeting next, next week? week? Next week at um, six. Is on Wednesday. Okay? Yeah. I forgot that. Unless you don't need. I mean, Wendy. Okay. I was. We were planning on it, weren't we? We have to, um, okay. you have to finalize it right. next week. Okay. So, so we can 11th. then post it a few days later. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yes. Okay. So please do take a hard look at this and look at your okay. background information. Okay. And if there's anything else that comes up, you might also, if you're available, come to the Finance Committee meeting in case there's yep. conversation that should happen. In fact, there, should, there will probably well, be conversation that should maybe happen. Maybe I can get you guys to, to get as consider much consensus the um, as possible. OPEB again. It would be nice. I'll put that on your no, I'll ask. Bring it up to skip. Bring it up to skip, yeah. So. Just so, so that there's not, we're not wasting time on that. And finance didn't, just you haven't approved eight yet because you're waiting on some stuff still, probably. Eight is the omnibus budget. No, they. they no, we, no, it's. Because um, it says no versus. No Wait, info no. from FEMCOM, assume On the yay. A, yeah, I'm sorry. The, okay. Ignore that. It, okay. It's, it's indicated that. here rather than as one. I got you. I got you. Per line. I know yep. that the, um, the Finance Committee also recommended the $53,000 for that generator, but I, I still think that's an awful lot of money to spend for something that I don't really see a use of. What ARCO was that? What ARCO were you talking about? It's in about? the... Is that your capital plan? Capital? Capital? It's capital. in the capital. Um, well, where's the capital? Yeah, the problem is we didn't really have. I mean, we didn't have an exact quote, and we we just wanted to make sure there was enough money to cover it. That was the the basis of it, but 
when we go out Skins. to get a quote, actual quote, it would we would only buy the generator the size that we need, not. And this eight. is including, I believe, to put it outside and uh, on a storage pad. shed. Oh, okay. and, yeah, and, so and it's also not just the generator. Electrical wiring, because that's one of the problems. Is we have. Heat, no heat in the police station. We have heat on this side, but no lights. I mean, this, well, it needs you know, to be wired correctly. When I was uh, working uh, with um, <clears throat> the people in Sunderland for the uh, ambulance building, you know, we got the requirements from the electrical engineer. And the generator over there is, is going to be around $4,800. Now, it's going to be connected through donations, too, but... Uh, the generator for here wouldn't have to be that much bigger. And uh, in the research that I had showed the generator would be about $5,300. So I just, I find it hard to believe you're going to spend, you know, $45,000. But why, uh, that, so why not lower that? I mean, why tax people for something and just, because that, I mean, it we always It just rolls over about, into the free cash. Well, I thought that's one of the issues, though. Well, Ta taxation, but if you don't. You know, we just keep taxing and. But if we don't appropriate the right amount and they come in for more than like a random number of like $30,000, then, then they can't go forward. Did, did the capital, did you guys talk about? Um, we did talk about <coughs> a proposal at, from, at the, from the chief. I can tell you what. What are your thoughts? Fired. Yes, we, we reviewed the request and there was, uh, there was three estimates for three different uh, types, generators. and then there was additional additional monies for um, the pad, the trenching, the wiring, I the see. connection, the panel in here, and uh, it was proposed to us that this building would be a command center. If we and had to be up and running in case of emergency, and that 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 uh, obviously was reviewed, discussed very thoroughly, and uh, it was not a majority vote. Let me put it that way. Yeah. But the committee did vote to approve it. Okay. They moved it along. So those three quotes were they all similar to the around fifty-three, or were they, they just they widely? Were all, they were all similar size. Interesting. You know, some one diesel, gas. Yeah, so sure. On. But uh, they're but they, all similar size, uh, and all similar make. And similar and, bid. And, right. And they were, there wasn't a lot of difference between them. And I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, it's been such a long time that we reviewed that. Right. That was earlier the, in the year. With the generators and the wiring, without the connection out there, I think it was like around in the housing out there. Mm -hmm. I think it was like around thirty-five thousand was what was proposed. I saw a as far as an estimate. Then, I saw a generator today at, at an extremely large house I was at. Um, they have a big generator to run. It's really two houses in one, but it's just outside. There's there. It's yeah. on a cement pad, and there's no house for it. So is that something yeah, that you need to do? No, that's <clears throat> what we were going to do over at oh. the Skims building. Yeah. And, and you, you can buy, um, <clears throat> and I don't really know what it takes to run this building. Generac. You can buy a Generac, uh, uh, I think it was a 22 kilowatt. So I'm saying that, Bruce, right? 22. Uh, 20. yeah, well, this one was a 22 one, and it was $5,600. Yeah, well, well this is a building committee. One of those things uh, for the building probably. committee to discuss. This has three sure phase power in here. Sure I'm pretty sure it's only the right three size. phase. Right. Right For what? Yeah. I'm, again, I'm guessing, I'm guessing it is. What would be three phase in here, though? Just uh, um, maybe rooftop units or something like that. I don't, know. I don't really have Big it. Big units. Or That's why we put in these little air conditioners up well, part there. Part and parcel is also for design issues. You can minimize wire size and everything else when you get into three phase. Well, I think that's yes, and I think that's for additional outlets too, if I remember correctly. Well, that's just off the top of my head. Yes, I apologize it's been a while. For, no, it's been a while since and you've and been it's been there. quite a while. I guess where my thought on that as well is, I mean, this past year, you no, know, take night, but you know, we closed the town hall several times, and there wasn't a lot of snow. So I'm thinking, well, you know, what are we really going to, you know, we don't, we send everybody home when the weather's bad, so it doesn't need to be here. 
Be and factual, you, Kip. Mm -hmm. One was justified and one was total screw up. That's a couple of times. That's what I said. Close yeah. a couple of times. But there was snow and Anyways. ice. We had to worry about one time. Was okay, legit. so we really haven't had a big I know. disaster no. here no. yet. And, and, um, and we haven't. And if, and if there was a need where, you know, there was some place where we had to move people to, I mean, we have the highway department that has, you know, it's much bigger than this. And, you know, we could heat that place and there's bathrooms and everything just like there is here. I, you know, and if we did lose power, there is a generator in the building so the police can function. Uh, you know, uh, kept, it just, came down to heat, right. and, and we needed this. There's, there's electricity on this. There's heat on this side, but no lights. We need to have this to be a cooling center if, you know, we had a storm in the middle of the summer and it was 90 plus degrees. You have to have some place to move people where they will not overheat if you have medical conditions, whatever. This, well, is, this is something this has the been building on, committee could yes, go through. This and has been decide. on the to-do list for I don't know how many years, and we just need to take care of it. Okay. So Can we did vote it? for it. And Trevor, yep. this is not really something a building committee would take up. No. Well, they somebody, buildings. but somebody would have be able to have input on the Absolutely. size. Yeah, I mean, we and to make the sure the they were not overpaying right. or anything like that. I think like John uh, Chief Pachorek is taking the lead on this. Yeah, one, so he, John John Pachorek is taking the lead on this, right. and he would make sure that we only get what we need. He's he's very frugal, actually. Okay, I, I have to leave in a couple minutes. So, is there anything mm -hmm. else that was a problem? Uh, well, why don't we just look at what they didn't support. <laughs> okay. Um, um, well, okay, Article 13, page 11. Yes, this, by the way, the just, you know, we know the, 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 um, uh, the article numbers, they're not all in there. I've been moving things around yes. and all of that. So yep. I'm just going to worry about that at the last time, at the last okay. minute. So Article um, 13 is uh, Capital Expenditure Stabilization Fund. You have a memo from yeah, uh, town accountant and myself recommending, as the CIPC had earlier recommended, putting three hundred, five hundred thousand dollars of free cash in that account, which would give the building committee something to work with. Okay. Um, <laughs> no smiles from the. Oh, there's a smile. Okay. <laughs> I, I believe Do we have, uh, um, they, they, they took no action on that or just, uh, that's the, my Were you able to get a final ice and snow? No, because we might have a storm this weekend. Okay. So, um, so, and there was no comment there unless, okay. And so I, I mean, I'll just talk about the, the no's right now. Um, no's on the personnel bylaw, um, which is what I've recommended. I've sent it to the personnel board. We're meeting Monday okay, night. Okay, we'll have to discuss this because I think we, we didn't have a final decision on that one. Either. No, no. And okay. um, because what happened is I found out that we didn't have to wait a full year to move to a policy based the way most communities have and the way this town has talked about for 10 years, employee, employee handbook policies based and the personnel board's been working on it. Every personnel board for the last 10 years has been working on updating that so that we move the policies into a living document that when it needs to be changed, we can change it and not adopt it through town meeting vote. This just leaves a very simple bylaw which defines the personnel committee, the number of members, the appointment, how they're appointed, their purpose, and refers to this state law which requires that adoption of the wage and classification plan at town meeting the way we do. And it would c continue to be done that way. Okay. Then um, we'll, we and we'll be talking that. about that at the personnel board meeting on Monday night. Okay, so could you then get us um, a little bit of information that what happened on Monday Oh, Wednesday? absolutely, yes. Okay. Um, but the, the reason why I would like to do this is I'd love to see us move forward. And I, we, the, the added piece to this is that it would take effect January 1st, which would mean we could actually have that in place effective January 1st. Um, and ha once we have the policies vetted through all the boards and the employees and council, um, and that there's a smooth transition, as opposed to waiting 
till April again. Uh, so. Guys from the Finance Committee, was there any reason it was a no, or did you, do you want to expand on that at all, that not recommending the going forward with a the, on the uh, personnel committee um, recommendations to move forward with like a policy versus a bylaw, I think on. No, I, I can speak as far I, as the bylaw. I, I just mean, loved I, it. I just felt, felt that it took out too much the bylaw. Uh, it took out the finance committee appointment. It took out uh, terms. It took out uh, duties and responsibilities. Uh, I just think it took way too much out at this point in time. Okay. All right. Thank you. That was, that's my, my personal opinion. Is sure. That that's what I was looking for. That's also the reason I voted uh, no on the finance committee. And unfortunately, I haven't had time to talk to Wendy on that. Yeah. So. Okay. We, we're going to meet and talk about a lot of things. Sure. Tomorrow? Yeah, we can supposedly. Okay. <laughs> Am I still on your there, um, <laughs> I think so. Um, there isn't any other ones that are controversial with the finance committee on? So, um, let's see. On the liquor licenses, they didn't weigh in on that one. And that was the another thing is on your agenda to talk about tonight, um, the legislation. And we, um, Finance Committee just didn't feel like we were knowledgeable enough to weigh in on that. Okay. On the liquor licenses? So right, no, on no the liquor comment licenses. On that. At that. No comment on the marijuana articles, correct? Or there was pro yes on the um, tax. I don't remember off the top of my head. Yeah, I, that's what I had from I'm Skip. I mean, yeah. Skip. Yeah. <laughs> yes, or Skip. I do. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I have to leave. Uh, was there is there any public comment before I leave? Yeah. Okay. And well, we also have the hearing at six thirty. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, one. Okay. Bruce, you have to identify yourself. <laughs> Bruce St. Peter's, uh, Sewer Study Committee, Bylaw Committee, and whatever else. Uh, <laughs> Check of all trades. I guess the first question is, is uh, um, I'd like to know what our charge is going to be going on from the Sewer Committee, uh, Study Committee, um, because it's kind of like taken off on its own branch with the uh, Sewer Commissioners. Uh, we kind of made an informal um, recommendation while well, a lot of conversation or anything as to uh, at the last meeting as to which of the uh, two vendors would we would prefer and the board of uh, sewer commissioners ran with that and so which i i don't care one way or the other but i just want to know whether at this point in time you're going to continue to run with it or whether you're going to ha have any input on this or you know are we just well i i think I just my personal opinion is that I would like participation from the sewer committee Absolutely. until we get to the point of um, establishing this, you know, maybe this building committee that would look at the sewer committee stuff. But um, I, we have to make a decision on what's, what is happening. And I think getting a handle on the potential debt of what we're going to do is, and how we're going to handle that is really important. So. Um, we need to move forward. We need to make decisions, and I, I just, I guess, I personally always feel it's just, um, the more input, uh, the yeah. better decision. So I agree with that. I, I well, would we, still love your input. The only thing to Bruce's point, maybe I shouldn't speak for him, is that the night that um, we met with the applicants or the, the engineers, um, I think Carolyn asked for a straw poll of you know asked what everybody wanted, and you know that was done as a suggestion, but we didn't take a vote as a group, then we did, this board kind of ran with that decision. Mm -hmm. um, so. well, and well, I don't have a problem. I just want to know what you want from us. I mean, are, are you looking right. for us to, re, uh, you know, to... Um, well, I think uh, we have to advisory. evaluate what... We have to evaluate his proposal. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's what yeah. I'm asking. Are you yeah. asking us to do that because uh, we haven't seen I, anything? I, I, I and, guess I would uh, like some input, but we decided what? to wait on that yet. <laughs> We're, I mean, we're not. You decided that you were going to do that. Oh, okay. And that's why that's why I want to know what right where we're going. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, I mean, I've, I read we, it. I, I've looked at it and and uh, informally have spoken with different people about it, and I, and I mm -hmm. want to have a meeting with uh, the the people that we've chosen and talk to them about their proposal and, and see if we can't narrow their scope down. 
for the time being to and deal I agree with, with that South because Deer, I right. don't I don't feel mm -hmm. that we we need to we need to move ahead with some actionable plans right. and narrowing the scope makes it possible to make some actionable steps so well, what I, I think what that I might, is a good choice what I what I'd propose is that you know we we have a meeting with these guys and and see if we can't get it down and then once they come up with something we bring you know this board or myself or I can bring it to the sewer study committee and then have review all of the things and look at it and talk about you know what's in front of them and to, to go that. forward I, I sound good completely agree with that I mean I think we should kind of move ahead with where we think we should go with, right. as committee uh, commissioners and then um, but yes always I just advice and so review. What, what do we do sit back and wait till you approach us at this point I think so I mean because I think we're gonna be I mean unless you well just to, what Bruce and I are gonna be talking about among yeah. other things are all the whole range of other things you need to think about which is which are the uh, apportionment of the costs, yep. um, whether we want to adopt a new a sewer bylaw, um, all these other I many it, myriad of issues that are not um, m bricks and mortar, but they're the, the surrounding kind of infrastructure. Well, talking uh, with Wendy, yeah. I don't want to interrupt, but <clears throat> no, that's fine. considering we have all this stuff going on, we were going to kind of wait off to contacting them till after, um, you know, after the, the town election. meeting and stuff. Then we can concentrate on that and then move forward. It's, they, I think it's, they, it is a lot for Wendy to have to no. do. Oh, right now, now I understand that. So I, I think waiting until May is not going to be a big deal. So, uh, so you're, we're not involved as far as uh, uh, minimizing or prioritizing or anything like that. That's you're, you've taken that on as a board, as a board of sewer commissioners. For, I'd right say now. temporarily. You know, yeah. we're not we're not saying that we're not going to look at everything, but I just like to narrow the scope down for this. And to I don't Martin really think there's going to be the, a lot of action between now and May anyway. No. And then bring it back to you guys for you uh, yeah. know, input. So as well. did you? I know you were thinking of scheduling a meeting in April. Do you just do you want to postpone that meeting? Well, I think of, I have a discussion with uh, Wendy tomorrow on yep. some things, okay. and okay. we'll see where that falls because we, okay. that was one of the options was not having a meeting in April. So okay, just uh, Bruce, I'm not trying to rush you, but I actually need to leave in a couple okay. minutes. So what was a couple things? Other All right, things? the other thing was, um, um, yeah, what did they have? Uh, on the, as far as the bylaw committee, now switch tax now. Uh, <laughs> with what's gone on the last couple of weeks and so forth, um, I would just like some reassurances from the uh, select board that uh, Anything that we may propose uh, for bylaw recommendations and or changes uh, will, uh, you know, pending any corrections and so forth, will go to the voters for choice. Of course. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's it's uh, and that's all I want to. You've done there. a lot of work. Okay. Okay. And the last thing is on. It's just I just want to make a personal statement. Um, I am, you know, rather upset. That on the uh, that the board has decided not to give the voter a choice on the ballot question, and it's not so much the ballot question whether it's mar uh, marijuana. I don't care whether it would you know replace the glass up there at the top of the building. I just think uh, you know I just it bothers me that you took the uh, uh, choice of the voter away as part of the democratic process, and that's I don't you know we can debate Bruce, this all I, night. I, and I, I understand. I just make my I, statement. I need to leave, but I want to. You, you know, we've had multiple conversations right. on the phone, right? And I, and just, I understand there are your, two issues. Two yeah. issues. Wendy made a posting error, which was uh, perfectly. That has nothing it, to do. That has nothing to do with oh, it. No, okay. but that's in the paper. Can I, can I that, just say that for the record on yes. camera? On thank you. That the meeting of last week um, was supposed to be Wednesday. I got called out into two other meetings, your meeting, planning board, and all of that, and I went, got back, and I said, oh, my goodness, didn't get it posted. So it's completely my fault, and we, there was no attempt to have a, a meeting on uh, out of the public view. I just, you know, move, you know, fool people or anything. It was a complete error, board, and I am, it made more problems for me than I could have imagined, and I apologize to the public and to everybody, um, and the board in particular, for that, and fortunately, they were able to meet. We had to meet on yeah. Friday to get the well, warrant posted. I, I understand that. that but the, I, but the timing just, was not an issue with me. It was the yeah. decision it, that okay, was made. But, but, but it was an issue with the newspaper and in the it public. It is important yeah. for me to clarify yeah. that I felt that the select board had, had to make the decision on the pr prohibition because 
Barbara was sending, Barbara Hancock, our town clerk, treasurer, collector, was sending the ballots to, out to be pr to printed and to not, to, to not make a decision so that the ballots were not, were printed with no prohibition on it so that she would take the heat was throwing her under the bus and that we I'm, needed I'm to just take, I, don't want I know, to get into a long discussion. but it's important that we take the responsibility for the controversy and not Barbara. I just, she right. works really hard. She does a good job. It would be nasty to make her pay any Everybody price. works hard. I'm not, I'm not saying they're not. But I would like to explain, Bruce, as I have explained why we voted no or why I voted no. The state approved marijuana, so it's coming. The town had 3,095 voters vote on that ballot question. S around 1,700 voted yes. They expect me to do the job, even though I was one of the no votes. The May ballot turnout averages less than 400. I, I mean, we even had a low of 171 a couple years ago. There are 101 communities in Western Mass. The only prohibition is Williamstown, up in the corner of the state, and Ludlow, East Longmeadow, Longmeadow, and Wilbraham in the corner on the Connecticut state line. Everyone around us has, is, is supportive of the marijuana, so it's coming. And we have all these projected problems, potentially um, concerns about impaired driving, youth, drug use, and you know, more crime, whatever. And then you don't want us to have any revenue for this? Our police are going to respond anyway. As I said, uh, so it was, it community was policing, it was patrols, the decision to take outreach. Away the this is not vote. cheap. We have to have revenue yeah, to cover I it. I, I know, I know. Should go to the voters, and, but it already has. I know, know you're going to say, "Well, state two years ago they voted this way, that way." Doesn't matter. People yeah, change their mind. There's a lot of information that have come, has come out since two years ago when that was initially voted. I just feel that the residents of Deerfield should have had the opportunity to vote that issue. Jeff, like thank you for your input, but I, I tried to explain my position. I didn't mean to, for this to open up a whole can of worms. And Laura, I'm apologizing. I have to leave. I know I knew your mom a little bit, and she would be very proud of you opening up this bakery. So good luck. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry that I'm leaving. All right. Thanks. We'll see you. Um, I have oh, my granddaughter's see? violin concert. Do you I have want to, to stop by and sign? Or you sign I already did this. Okay, good. Perfect. Thank you. Bye, guys. Do we have an application? Yeah, the application um, is right. right here. Okay. Everybody or would you like to come up? Mic. Yeah, come on up. With you? Okay. <laughs> Welcome. You want your dad Hi to there. come up with you? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having me. <laughs> yes. Welcome. So you want to open the? Sure. Do you want to do it? Sure. Okay. Yep. So welcome. This is the um, public hearing um, at Deerfield on April 4th at 6.30 uh, to hear a, a liquor license. Um, I'll, I'll read this public hearing um, notice. So notice is uh, hereby given in accordance with the provisions of Mass General Law Chapter 138 that the Deerfield Select Board, acting as a local licensing authority, has received an application for a new annual wine and malt beverage off-premises liquor license and appointment um, of manager from Bittersweet Bakery Cafe LLC located at 470 Greenfield Road, Deerfield, Mass. The total indoor area is 3,320 square feet with a proposed seating capacity of 28. The proposed occupancy is 40. In accordance with the aforementioned provisions, the licensing authority of said uh, town of Deerfield will hold a public hearing in the main meeting room of the municipal office building at 8 Conway Street, South Deerfield, Mass. at Wednesday, April 4th, 2018 at 630. So the public hearing is now open. <laughs> And welcome. Tell us about Thank Hi. you. Um, about my name is Laura Newton. I am a resident of Greenfield. Um, I'm really excited to be owning a business in Deerfield and being a part of your community. 
Um, I just graduated from UMass Eisenberg Business School this past May. And, and thanks. And I have a baking and pastry degree from Johnson and Wales University in Colorado. Um, I'm TIP certified, and that's something that I was able to do while I was at UMass. And I'm just uh, really grateful for the opportunity to talk with you guys about the liquor license. Yes, thank you. So, well, do you want to describe to us what you envision with having the liquor license in your business? Certainly. So Bittersweet Bakery and Cafe is not only going to sell delicious pastries, breakfast sandwiches, lunch sandwiches, and artisanal pizzas. Also, we're going to be doing um, local coffees and teas. And I think that the liquor license would play in perfectly with the brand image. Doing mostly local and craft beer and wine would be a wonderful addition to what I have in the store. Having it previously at the Savages Market location um, and having them have that reputation in the community of being a package store and a deli as well as a country store is something that I would really like to be able to move forward with, but on a smaller scale and definitely more towards the local ingredients. Um, mm -hmm. As I said, I'm a resident of Greenfield and have been I've grown up in New England my entire life, so um, I've really been able to almost be spoiled with the delicious things that are yes. in the valley. Very There's cool. so much that the valley has to offer, um, and that includes beer and wine. There's a lot of local breweries and wineries, and I would really like to be able to feature them in my store, hmm. um, and they would complement what I have on my menu, which would be really wonderful. Do you have an idea of the hours that you would operate your store at? Tentatively, I would like to be open 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. That changing seasonally as things do in the valley. Mm -hmm. There's peak seasons, um, even in restaurants. And being at, I worked at the farm table for five years as their pastry oh. chef. Nice. Um, I've also worked at Shelburne Falls Coffee Roasters for six collective years. So mm -hmm. I kind of know when the busy seasons are um, and when the peak seasons are. So during those times, I would definitely would like to maximize my hours, potentially up to 7 p.m. Okay. Do you think that you would have a designated area in the store devoted to the wines and beers? Or would it be, I looked at the floor plan and it, I, I noticed there were coolers in different locations and stuff like that. There are. So if you were familiar with the Savages Market Building, I'm sure you all yep. were. Um, if you walked in through the door, the one past the deli um, mm -hmm. towards the back to the right is taken out. So um, okay. that's my bakery area now. It, the building is going to look very different to you guys when you come back in. Yeah. Um, the other one, I numbered them all in the, in the mm -hmm. floor plan. Right. But there's another one that was in close proximity to that. That's yep. going to be a bakery cooler. So okay. the one, as you walk in through the door to the left, yep. is mm -hmm. where the beer and wine is going to be stored and sold, which also um, is a perfect place because no matter where an employee is standing behind the counter, they have visual visualization of whoever is at the cooler at all times, which is really perfect. Mm -hmm. Good. And this will all just be to take out, right? No, yes. No serving there. That's no. Right. No, it really didn't um, tie in with what I was hoping for the brand. Mm -hmm. I don't have any other questions. No, any questions from the audience at all? So, do you have anything to add or um, any questions? No, just um, what, what you were going to do. Um, yeah. You'll be the manager. You're requesting to be the manager. Yes. And you are TIP certified, which yes. is great. I am. Um, so I, I think we would probably, you know, close the hearing, we'll take it under advisement, and, sure. we'll, um, and we'll make a decision later on. Get that sounds good. And okay. when um, I anticipate that making a decision is on the um, agenda, we'll let you know so you yes. can attend the so meeting. Yeah, we'll, okay. we'll, we'll let you know when it's That'd coming on the board. Um, Anything else to add? Sure. Um, just a few things. So I know um, in pro close proximity to the schools, um, there may be some concerns. I would like to tip certify all of my employees. Wonderful. Um, I think it's very important and it's not something that is too time consuming or too costly and it really educates everyone. Um, so everyone being tip certified is really a priority for me and I will not have a carding machine. I, I don't ha um, have the ability to at this point budget wise. But um, I'm also not planning on accepting any out-of-state IDs whatsoever. Okay. Because so, um, I know that is a main concern. Mm. Okay. Interesting. Okay. 
Right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you I'll, close, I'll close the hearing at 640. Thank you so much. Thank you. And good luck with your business. We're excited to have you in town. Really excited. excited. Yeah, it's great. Um, how about an opening date? Did you have a projected opening date? Did, did I oh, miss I'm that? sorry. Do, do you have a projected opening date? I do. So I'm hoping to be open the week after Mother's Day. So that puts me around oh. the 14th of May. Oh, nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Great. Okay, dokey. That's it. So we've done that. For the hearing. For the hearing. Yes, for the hearing. Then there's item bullet Works one. Item. Um, well, you wanted to discuss uh, the article um, that would allow you to file legislation to ask for additional licenses. Yes. Um, so Do you have the charts? I can explain that a little bit better if you want. Oh, you have them there? Okay, I don't. The quota you, you, from the last. Do I have one? one? Yeah. Did, uh, In here? I think I handed out the last meeting. Oh, at the last meeting? Let me flip back then. Um, this is what you're referring to, correct? Yeah, what's that? I think that I'm actually that as well. Um, I don't know if Trevor has that. Trevor, do you, can you show him if he's seen that? Because I asked Pat to do that. One of the things I thought would be useful. I oh, I didn't see that. It just okay. shows all that the That shows where, where, um, they where they are. Oh. And it shows the ones that have applied, they're pending. Uh, okay. And what, under which, uh, yeah, under the yeah. services on premises. premises yeah. Okay. It's fine. Can I make a copy of that? Sure. I have, a, well, yeah. yeah we'll I have a right. copies we'll for you, but. Um, okay. Did you have uh, some information as far as that article? Well, um, the article, I, we have a, I just have a placeholder to request three additional um, um, wine and malts for on premises because um, we have. What does that zero process left. involve? Oh, it's the special legislation. This is the state law with the right. blue laws. In order to go above your quota, you have to get um, legislative approval. And we discussed this a little bit at the last meeting. You wanted to discuss it further, and I know Carolyn did, um, whether to ask for more and just not have any more available, um, but to look at what we have and what we could reasonably expect or desire to um, want. But if we decided that we wanted to, we needed to have a, a an article at town meeting to do so? Yes, because and it requires special legislation, legislation, and that can only be done through town meeting to if the board. We, if we ask the town to approve more and yet we don't act on it? Correct. You, 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 do you don't have to. Okay. So it's, it's, it's there if you want it. And hmm. Did so, you get that? Uh, just, just to recap, my, my concern was that number, does that affect how many marijuana... Um, I, I think the number is still um, under, it, under that. It might be up to two. You know, it's twenty percent so. of your wine and malts, right? Right. We were. Right now, it's one point four with what we have, and you know, it might go to two instead of one. But I, I think you that. were open to two if you if we go forward with that. So I don't Does know. People know what we're talking about. Oh. Do you know? Um, <laughs> do you know offhand, Lindy, so, if the if it's a combination thought, of on premise and off premise? Yeah, I. Th um, so to recap, what, what we're talking about time. is is if yeah, um, the amount of marijuana retail establishments that you have in town are a percentage of how many liquor, uh, malt and wine, yeah, and liquor kind of. stores that you would, you would have. I think and, it's the on. It's off premise off because premise. this Purchase would be off premise, go. right? Yeah. yeah. So, so if we have a whole bunch so of them, then we have to have at least I think it's twenty percent. You have to allow oh. for, for marijuana. So we're kind of hoping to hold that to one marijuana retail outlet. So if we add to our number of off premises alcohol, which we may may want to do or not, um, that would, might affect us, and we might wind up having to allow yeah. two marijuana retailers in town where we're really hoping to kind of keep it at one. Right. So, so at least to start two. and depending on how two. the people feel down yeah. the road. So this would raise if it we one. Did, yeah. If we did 
um, issue these other two licenses. It or, would, it, or have them. In or a, have them. Yes. Have them, have have them in our quota, correct. Issue. It would allow One the, more. the marijuana uh, places to grow to two. To two. Yeah. Right. So that's kind of a concern of mine. But it still would be within the, uh, the regulations that uh, hopefully we'll pass a town meeting. It would still have to be in that. In uh, that yeah, zone. In that right. zone. Which is not and a need, lot. And get so a special not permit a lot of from space. somebody. <laughs> from the planning To be board determined. Right. To, to be determined. <laughs> right. Yep. Um, so I, I don't know. I, I kind of think it's the thing that you, I don't know. I guess off the top of my head, I don't want to just say we need to have more. Right. But depending on the type of business and stuff like that, you know, if, if, if a restaurant came in and it was going to be a nicer restaurant and stuff like that, and, you know, the circumstances were that uh, it would benefit the community, and most people, a lot of people like to have they something do. to drink with their dinner, so, you know, I can see that there, it could be a need. Um, but the pushback there, too, is, um, you many? know, the people that have them, you know, some, some people might have paid good money to, to acquire these, and then you get somebody come into town and could get one for next to nothing. I don't want to say next to nothing, but, right. but pay a, a much smaller price for it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what the fees were originally. Um, you, well, you can get town meeting there. approval and then not act on it, too. Mm -hmm. It's giving you the authority to. So you have time to discuss it. But also yeah. you want to be prepared for the discussion at town meeting and yeah. think yep. through this. So. We don't have to act today on this. This is just to think about, right? right. Well, or what's your thoughts? When? Um, you'll have to decide whether I should leave it on the warrant for your vote next week. I recommend doing it, which is funny, yeah. <laughs> only because I've been around long enough and seen what happens when we hit when communities hit a wall and they have no licenses, and there is an opportunity for a, a restaurant that. It's a need that doesn't exist in the community. Greenfield's been through this a number of times. So, just to um, clarify, we're talking of on-premise. One is off-premise. One is yeah. off. Because off, off right. we'll, we only have one left. When I was reading the regulations earlier, mm -hmm. um, you know, I guess when I was first thinking of this, it's like, well, if we have some available and people apply and then we deny it, uh, then they go to the ABC uh, and and asks for a variance of some sort saying that the town wouldn't issue it. Uh, but from what I read in those, uh, those laws uh, or regulations that, you know, the alcohol is, having an alcohol license is, is not a right, and it's totally right. up to the board to, to do it. So that's correct. If, if an individual came before us and we didn't think that it was a good fit and we chose not to issue it, that we're not really doing anything wrong. Right. Okay. I don't know. Maybe so we should just let it go into the town meeting and see what let, they have to see say. What, see what yeah. people Let the feel. voters decide. <laughs> okay. I'm good with um, that. And just, I think we'd have to make it clear that that would open it up to two retail marijuana facilities. Right. Uh, I you. think it would make yeah. a decision that, it might make a decision in I people's think, mind whether they'd want to move forward with that or not. Don't you have control over, you, you don't have to have the two, if it's if you don't have to have the number that um, right. is linked, right? You're That's just a board decision to, as well. Right. Okay. Now, was that linked to just the off-premise wine and malt, or all alcohol as well? It's both. Well, then, then currently we already have ten, so that would no, make. No, I'm sorry. It's it's seven. We peg it to the number seven. Okay. And That's I don't have two. the chart in front of me. Okay. But is that the number? Is that the number that we have, or the number that's available? It says See, because it says, yeah, this, right next there's to two. It says it's what our quota. Look at the top. That's yep. our quota. Yep. So and that's and what these it's are, to. These are out. These right. are two I pending. Think. I think. Okay. Two pending. Yep. So we'll be maxed out. I see that. Maxed out plus one, right? There may be another that might yep. be coming. Might be right. coming. We had quite a run um, the last month or so. Um, well, one was barbecue. Yep. I'm trying to get him to fix his sign. Please do that. <laughs> I noticed that again today. <laughs> um, but he had, because we had no rules until this past he year, uh, he was doing a bring your own without, and he could because we right. didn't have rules about that. So now we do, and that's what people will do. I suspect they'll be coming well, now that we have rules, they might be coming to you for the for bring your own, mm -hmm. and um, 
there, there were concerns about that as well, people driving, you know. Any rate, bring your own to I think it's, it's a good in. idea. Just leave it on there, and you can ask the people. And okay. See by, and, and the and numbers, by but the it, numbers is also what I, you know, you sure. really wanted to consider. I know Carolyn did the, the three and three, but again, you can change that. Right. Um, considering we have several pending now, you know, by the time we actually get to town meeting, we'll have a better idea of what we have and right. see what's up. Well, okay, unless you would deny one that, um, well, yeah. <laughs> it, also, what I read in there, we needed to respond in 10 days. Um, we need to, that's the process. That's what we've been going through with these licenses. Once right. they bring it to us, then we need to... Um, post it you know it needs to get public uh public public notice in the paper then we have to schedule a hearing within 30 days i do have another one scheduled the, mm -hmm. the one that um so next these week? two end up being our you know one plus over their quota mm -hmm. no no because um we were advised not to act on it and now right. we've gotten different advice so we will be acting on it i i'm thinking of the uh, May 7th or whatever that first meeting is and meeting is yeah I wrote election. it down um, somewhere <sighs> okay a lot going on yeah. busy town yeah wouldn't think it but. so it doesn't look like we have anything else here to discuss um, we're gonna have our next meeting uh, we did all the budgets right we, I l I'll just like update you you knew this was going on today we got a call from a small film company that's making yeah. a small film and what I did was um, because we don't have regulations in place, another thing we want to do, as many other communities have, um, is to put something into place. But I, I simply asked them to talk to the police department, and um, and I sent a release form for liability issues for us if they're mm -hmm. going to be filming in public places. Bruce? That. Do you want a copy? I, I've got an ex. Oh, the, the, the um, contracts. Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Does that have to be done annually? Yes, apparently. Oh, no, but here's the story. This was, um, we did this last year. To allow the select board to It was, yeah, it was primarily for, it was for the assessors who wanted to do a five-year contract. I know that. And um, we talked about, ah. well, should we take it off or leave that on? Because they're not going to be doing in five-year, anticipate doing anything. Right now, they're in the first year of that five-year contract, or well, second year. The, the, it was more of a place, so you know those things you vote on year after year after year? It's a way to make sure it's there so that they don't forget about it. So, um, you know, four well, years from now and end up. I guess my question was the way we're working, because it allowed them to enter in the contract. So are you, as CPO, authorizing them to enter in the contract? No, no, no. The way, um, no, they can't do it. authorizes, because they signed the contract, um, that's why we did it that way this past year. So it, it's the same way we did it last year. I still Which did the procurement. That? Oh, okay. yeah. I don't know. I, I, mean, I was just curious because I, that's why I know that they had just done it last year. Right. And, uh, and I talked with Karen. I said, you know, because I, I asked them, and I said, do you want to keep this on for the purposes of four years from now when you want to do this again, or should we just take it off and hope somebody remembers to put it on? But so you have to do that? Anyway? You have to do it. Um, you have to, uh, that's the blue, That's the information I was giving. Oh, okay. It's not an, oh, once you do it, it's, a, you know, you've got permission. No, you've got to go back to town meeting for that approval. So I, I went back and forth on whether to leave that in or not. Um, do you recall the $10,000 limit on the, the one that authorizes the select board to? Uh... Well, that, well, actually, last year that, that originally got stuck in there for $10,000 with no provision no, for the assessors. Then the assessor was not put in that. Okay. And why the $10,000? Because that is so small. For for it's, exactly, that's, that's what I keep saying. So I think I'm going to take that out, and then I think we should have further discussion about whether to leave both of these on yeah, here. Because that, you know, for a five-year contract, that's $2,000. You don't. <laughs> You can do that on general business yeah, practice. Yeah, I don't know where. I can't. So I don't know why that's even in there. All right, it's coming out, and but it all might come out, so we'll see. I'd like to know your thoughts about this. You know, now you know the rationale for why it's why these are in here. If you have other 
we'll talk tomorrow. Yeah. But um, so I'm going to, on Article 15, take this ten thousand dollars out, and then we. Um, Article 18. I don't know if you heard. It. No. Yeah, 18. 18. Um, page 13. You're just going to take the dollar amount out? Yes, and okay. I'm. You know, we'll consider whether to take it out. I mean, we have. We have you have authority to enter into contracts for three years. The Mo Municipal Modernization Act changed that to go up to five years with town meeting approval. Apparently, that approval has to happen annually. It can't be once, as you did last year. Right. So um, I left it on. Okay. Right. Does anyone else have anything to say? Any other comments? Public comments? Public comments? Forever holding peace. No. Uh, I don't think we have anything else, Trevor. Our next meeting is going to be April 11th mm -hmm. at 6 p.m. Yep. Well, actually, oh, I, I just, did want you to decide what you wanted to do on capital stabilization account. Can I? Uh, based uh, on our recommendation uh, to put four. I forget. I just wanted to make a couple announcements for Sue. Can, can okay. we? Yes, we can yep. do that first. Yep. But don't let me forget I, this. Yeah, I, I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> what was this again? The, Putting um, 500 um, into capital stabilization. Well, from free cash. I think it's a great idea. Are we are we limiting what we're going to have for operating budget by just doing no. that? I think that was okay. <clears throat> no. So we're we, doing. We the, would. It would be leaving. Maybe you could help me with this a second. Yeah, I it's all, if you read through the memo, it explains that. I mean, we, we, we'd, we'd be leaving more. Um, and 274 the in? What? Yeah, we'll be leaving it, uh, right. Just so I understood this. Um, so we had recommended 200, right? Initially, and Initially. the finance committee's discussing it, they going haven't. back and forth, and um, Brenda and I have recommended to we're going to need capital money projects. to do projects. Right. It's a place that's very fiscally prudent and because you need two thirds votes correct. To get it out yeah, and um, and if we leave it, um, we'll just have even more free cash next Jeff, year. Jeff, so that, that's the amount you guys approved as well, isn't it? And it was five hundred thousand for the yeah. uh, capital yeah. stabilization. The capital committee right. recommended. So the finance committee hasn't decided yet. The finance committee is still discussing it. Hopefully Tuesday night You'll have an answer. It will have an answer. We were looking to see where we were as far as the town the budget. overall yeah. budget. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And hopefully Tuesday night we'll have a I, answer. I'd be supportive of putting that money away, um, you know, providing that, you know, the finance committee agrees that, you know, they have enough to, to do what mm -hmm. they need. Um, I think it's a good place to put it. Mm -hmm. we have this coming up. Well, I have, okay, so this is um, this is the warrant we have to do. The motions are something else, but I would like your, you know, I'd like your. Input well, now. I don't think if we vote if we vote on this, then what if it, the finance committee finds an error or they want to adjust it somehow? Um, and if we if we just waited till next Wednesday, is that really going to affect it? Well, I want you to sign the warrant next Wednesday. So um, well, we could, let me see. This is a this would be a motion, correct? What article number did I just tell you that was? Fifteen. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, because I was 15. just looking at eighteen. Um, I think it's after that. I think I have it memorized. It's uh, motion thirteen. Yeah, it should be near the capitalization. Capital stabilization. So, um, yes, that's fine. The article doesn't have a number in it. The motion would, so we can deal with that we can later. Do, we can yeah. wait. Keep and it next flexible. Next Wednesday, we'll have input from the finance committee. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> we can vote at that time, and, and I'm gonna that leave way this. we don't have to change right the vote, stuff like that. Okay. So you want to leave that open for now? Yeah. Okay. I think so. No sense if we change if we put it in and we're going to change it then. I don't see any advantage. Well, you can also leave it, and they could say no, and capital could say yes, and All the whatever. Yes. Town meeting, so. right? Okay. Um, okay. I just want to make sure. I mean, I think it's the right thing to do. We have these capital expenses coming up. It would help us start with that, and um, I just want to make sure that we, you know, it sounds like. Brenda thinks we'll have enough money to go forward anyways. Yep. Um, there was talk, uh, Skip was talking about looking at maybe using money to pay off other stuff or, you know, yeah. other ideas were bant bantied around. Yeah. But I just, if this is worth settling here, that's fine with me. I just want to I think, and then to think what, through all what the I've options. been, in the back of my mind, thinking just, oh, you know, 
is when we do get payment for these uh, pieces of land at the Oxford property, I would like to put that money toward you know the payments of that land. I, I think we pay have it a off. Down the debt. Yeah, paying down, down the, the debt. debt. Yeah. I, I yeah. completely I, agree I, with that. Don't remember. I think wasn't the number somewhere around fifty-seven thousand a year we're paying in interest on that. Probably on the Oxford, on the Oxford. property. Oxford. Just the interest part of it. The interest part. Yeah. I think there's been general consensus yeah. that paying down the debt on that I property with the income from the sales is the right makes thing. Makes sense. Right. Yeah. And, and I think the current I think the current balance is around seven hundred thousand. Yeah. I believe that's what it is. So between these two parcels of land, we would get close to uh, five hundred fifty thousand. So. I think it'd be an appropriate. That'd be great. That'd yeah. be great to stop spending okay. money on interest. Um, Want to read your announcements? Yeah, I'll just these are uh, for Sue. I just you know I get these in my box. I just want to make sure people are aware out there that um, recreational uh, softball grades seven and nine or seven through nine, uh, looking for girls from Conway, Deerfield, Sunderland, Waitley for grades uh, seven through nine. Um, Let's see, you must not be 16 before September 1st, 2018. Um, they're forming a team to practice and play games once a week. Um, need to register by April 15th and certainly contact Sue. Um, and then Union 38 Field Hockey Spring Clinic will be May 22nd. Excuse me, dates are April 22nd, May 20th, um, Sunday, 4 to 5 p.m. Frontier Regional School. Um, field hockey field. Um, let's see. Registration's twenty dollars. Equipment deposits fifty dollars. Looks like you'll get that back. Um, again, contact Sue. And then Deerfield Recreation Smart Start Baseball Program. This is um, this program was created by the National Alliance for Youth Sports to help kids get ready for sports and succeed in life. Um, these are for four and five year olds, not in kindergarten and their parents, Deerfield residents, April 23rd through May 21st, not May 7th, from 5.45 to 6.45 p.m. at the old Deerfield ball field. Um, cost is $40, contact Sue. So this is get, getting the kids, um, young kids into baseball. So that's what I've got for recreation. Good, thanks. We're all set. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye.